Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban Wayfair Reverse. And these are the best out of the bunch. But first off, link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 50 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter meter bridge and it's the standard size of these sunglasses. They also do produce them in a larger lens size which has 53 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge. But the pair that I'm wearing again is the standard size with these 50 millimeter lenses and the 22 millimeter bridge. The exact same dimensions as the standard size of the original classic Ray-Ban Wayfair. So as we can see here these frames definitely do look relatively similar. The biggest difference of course is going to be the lens shape and then also the metal accents here on the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers are kind of linear here. And then in the Wayfair Reverse, we just have two little metal accents there. So definitely a different design language when it comes to the uh, metal accents on the frames. But these frames are definitely very interesting and Ray-Ban has released a bunch of other frames with the reverse styling. First, I reviewed the Ray-Ban Aviator Reverse and I really hated those frames. Then I reviewed the Ray-Ban Caravan frames and I didn't hate them nearly as much as the Aviator. And now we are reviewing uh, the Wayfair and I like these by far the best out of that bunch. Uh, these frames look really good in my opinion. They're not trying too hard like some of those other frames are in my opinion. They definitely still have that very punky kind of rocky uh, styling to them that the Wayfair has you know offered for I think over 50 years now which is absolutely incredible. Both their reverse lens they definitely add some kind of modern you know space age styling to the frames as well and personally I do think the originals look better on face just because you can't be that classic styling and of course it's also what I've been familiar with over the past you know decade or whatever uh, that I've been alive you know and interested in frames uh, so here again are the original and, and these just look absolutely incredible in my opinion I love the originals uh, we're here with the uh, reverse they're definitely you know more modern and a lot of people are going to like that and be attracted to them where they look at the older style and they might think of you know the 70s or something like that and not really be interested in the Ray-Ban Wayfair styling uh, but yeah these look really good in my opinion now the exact colorway that I'm wearing today is video have Ray-Ban's polished black frames with their green lenses. Now these are a G15 lens but they are made out of a plastic material. Uh, so both the lenses and the frames are made out of a bioplastic material. Now with these plastic lenses you'd assume that the Wayfair Reverse would be much more lightweight than the original Ray-Ban Wayfair of all glass lenses but there actually is only one gram difference with the original coming in at 44 grams and then the reverse coming in at 43 grams. So surprisingly enough, there really is not a big difference at all when it comes to the frame weight. And I believe that's because the reverse are much more thicker than the originals are uh, as far as the actual frames go. Uh, so that's definitely something interesting to know. You'd think that these would be a really lightweight pair of frames because of their plastic lenses, uh, but they are not. They are still very bulky and heavy, uh, just as much so as the original. So that's definitely something interesting to know. Personally, when wearing an original pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, I don't mind the weight because it just kind of reminds me of the heritage and the, the vintage styling and how frames used to be back in the day. Uh, they're definitely going to get a little bit uncomfortable in wearing them for more than four hours. You're going to find yourself kind of picking the frames up and then kind of rubbing your nose and there might be red marks as well there. Uh, but definitely not that big of a deal when it comes to the classic styling. It's definitely worth the trade-off. Uh, but with these, you know, it's going to be up to you if you think uh, that these are worth the extra bulk uh, compared to something like the Aviator or Caravan, which are much more lightweight. Now, if we take a closer look at the frames, we can see a little painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the frames. And then here in the middle left of the lens, we can see an etched RB logo there for authentication purposes. Now, if we move down the outside temples, we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo, which is also there for authentication purposes. And that's also found on the modern original Ray-Ban Wayfarers as well. Now, these frames have very premium and nice all metal hinges and these are actually a five barrel all metal hinge compared to the seven barrel all metal hinge that's found on the original Wayfair. So that's something definitely interesting to note here uh, but they feel very good and substantial when opening up and when closing them. They just feel very nice and premium. Now as far as build quality goes these are definitely not built as well as the original Ray-Ban Wayfair even though they are more expensive. Uh, that's probably because the original Ray-Ban Wayfair say that they are handmade in Italy uh, where here on these they just say Ray-Ban made in Italy. 
And if we take a look here on the underneath, it says frames with bio-based material. And from my experience, the bio-based material acetate frames don't feel quite as nice and premium as the original uh, frames of just classic acetate. And it doesn't appear they're that much better for the environment as well. When it comes to a pair of acetate frames, they're mostly made out of bio-based materials to begin with, like acetate, wood pulp, etc. cetera. Uh, so they're pretty, you know, kind of clean as far as the environment goes as well. It's just more the hardening resin, I believe, that they use. They're, instead of using petrochemicals, they're using some bio-based petrol, you know, equivalent. Uh, so there's probably not a huge difference with the actual environmental impact on these, uh, but the quality does seem to be built a little bit worse. The acetate doesn't feel quite as premium. It feels more like a nylon material, a little bit cheaper in my opinion. They feel very durable and strong. I wouldn't be surprised if this material is actually stronger than acetate because uh, it really feels very strong, uh, but not quite as premium. And to nitpick a little bit more, uh, there are also some kind of small touches here that they just kind of you know, forgot to do and clean up. So here on the hinge, it's hard to see, but they just didn't file it. They didn't clean it and polish it enough. So there's some shavings there where they drilled out or when they kind of etched out uh, where the hinge sits flush and they did a good job of the hinge sitting flush. You can just see some leftover material that they should have got rid of and they did not. And then also here underneath this Ray-Ban logo, we can see just a little bit more of that plastic material, which I probably can get out if I you know, really take my time and try to remove it without scraping the frame uh, but yeah definitely you know not great quality control on these again compared to the handmade original Ray-Ban Wayfarers definitely kind of disappointing there uh, but again you're not going to notice any of that when on face uh, you know it's not like things like the squeak the frames don't squeak or anything like that the hinges don't uh, feel bad it's just going to be some small smaller stuff uh, where they just didn't do a perfect quality control over and that can easily be fixed in future pairs of frames and future batches, etc. That's not too big of a deal, but definitely something that's disappointing uh, because these frames are relatively expensive. Again, comparing them to the originals, uh, these cost $185 and the originals only cost $165, I believe. Uh, so yeah, you're paying more and you're getting less as far as the actual build quality goes. Now, as far as the reverse aspect of these frames go, I thought it was really silly on the caravans and on the aviators, but here it's still definitely very silly because these have concave lenses where traditionally a pair of sunglasses would have convex lenses. So here we have the convex lenses on the originals and here we can see they have the concave lenses on the reverse. And it seems a little bit silly to me and it still is, but it definitely adds some really cool and interesting style that you're not gonna see on basically any other pair of frames. But because of these reverse lenses, they're not going to be quite as practical. So if I move the frames all the way up to the top here, making contact with my face, uh, my eyelashes are just going to slightly touch the lens, which is definitely very annoying. So you just gotta move them a little bit more forward and then they're perfectly fine. They actually stay here that, and that little bit more forward uh, very, very well. They don't really kind of pop back up and, and mess with your uh, eyelashes, but that's definitely very annoying. That would never happen with a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers because they are designed, you know, to be, you know, more practical uh, where these are built for fashion more than anything. And because you do have to set them a little bit more front, that way they don't touch your eyelashes, they're not going to offer as good coverage. And even actually because because of their lens shape, even if you could push them all the way back if you had shorter eyelashes than I do, these frames would still have worse coverage from the sun because of their reverse styling. So here up top, we can see there's a pretty big gap to let sunlight in and protected. Then here on the side, again, there's a massive gap to let sunlight in and protected, but they do have this really nice anti material here on the backside, which does definitely help reduce sunlight coming in, bouncing off the lens at an angle, which is very, very important, but so does the originals, of course. Uh, so overall, this is a really interesting pair of frames from a Ray-Ban. I personally definitely prefer the originals, uh, but these are definitely the best out of the bunch uh, when it comes to all the reverse series that I've reviewed so far. These frames, even though they're not quite as practical as the originals, still definitely look pretty cool. I think these look best out of the bunch as well. And the practicality is probably up there as well. And you know, again, like I said, I like the styling of these frames. I really don't hate them. I think they look pretty decent and then the reverse isn't you know quite as reversey if that makes sense on these frames either so they don't look quite as silly or quite as crazy because they do have the acetate that surrounds them so it looks a little, little bit more subtle and then they're more practical as well from what I can tell 
But overall, uh, these are an interesting pair of frames and I'm going to leave them in the description below if you're interested in picking a pair of these film glasses for yourself. The original MSRP is around $183. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below directly to Ray-Ban's website where you can check out all the different beautiful colorways and my website as well if you're interested in getting these for a little bit of a discount off the original MSRP. Well, that's all guys for this video. Let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to know, do you own these? And if you do, do you love them? Do you hate them? Or if you don't own them, what do you think about them? Are you going to stay away? from them? Do you think they're really ugly? I am very interested to know. So let's start a conversation in the comment section down below. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.